Hey Andrew, so what is this you're showing us? Fence alert. Ah, uh, fence alert. Well, Sensomob is a tool designed to help manage and control mobile teams. So on a fence alert, we're looking at defining a, an area, a geographic area, that when an employee enters or exit, it triggers an automatic action or alert. See, with Sensomob, we combine uh, real-time private messaging with location-based control like real-time and historical tracking. We're really designed for um, teams in event management, um, public safety and security, uh, firemen, police, uh, as well as sales teams, operations. So you could be hired by all of those, but uh, these days, who is hiring the product? Who's hiring the product right now? Well, we've got some uh, pilots in the United States with some fire departments, and here in Brazil, we had um, some uh, uh, surveyors standing on street corners all over Brazil counting cars. So all of them have really the same problem, which is when your team is spread out, how do you communicate and coordinate with them? And so we give them the tools to make that easier. Yes, and uh, did you found the company uh, right before entering the acceleration program in Brazil? I mean, was it sort of targeted at this maybe occasion? Or did you just pick Brazil because you have a Brazilian co-founder? Uh, no, we've actually been founded since July of 2012. Uh, when we first started building the product in a little bit of a different uh, direction. Um, then in about March of last year, we started shifting towards the business. We saw a big opportunity for mobile teams in the U.S. and in Brazil. We have another product that we had a lot of success in, in Brazil uh, from sort of before this company. My co-founder being Brazilian, we said, you know what? I think this is a great time to come down to Brazil, be part of Startup Brazil, big, big new program, and uh, really test the market and uh, and see what see what Brazil thought and so far it's been uh, it's been really good did the federal program uh, was of some help I mean did the program uh, make it easier for you to come to Brazil for instance yeah I mean there's always some growing pains with a new program um, so sometimes the information was a little later than we'd liked but the important thing is we did get it when we needed it and uh, being one of the first international companies, uh, it was, you know, we, I had to ask them for a few things sometimes, but it all worked out great. I mean, the program's over now, and uh, I can very confidently say it's one of the best things we've done for our company. Um, although we're going back to the U.S. sort of part of our company, the rest of our company is going to stay and grow in Brazil. And so, you know, we now have a multinational corporation, and we're still pretty small, but um, you know, we're excited about the opportunities on both sides of the ocean. As a foreigner, uh, do you consider your previous expectations about the Brazilian market validated fully or...? You know, it's interesting. I didn't know really what to think because um, I think American expectations of Brazil are, are really a lot of football and, and uh, nice beaches. And, you know, we came to Bega where there are no beaches. And I would say overall, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. And this was my first time really outside of the United States for a long period. And the biggest thing I learned is that Brazilians are just like everyone else. They're happy, excited. They just want to have fun and, and you know, build something for themselves and their family. So I've fallen in love with Brazilian culture and Brazilian food. And uh, you know, can't wait to come back. When I first met Alex in the US, it was in Berkeley and San Francisco. Do you come from the same region? And were you engaged in the startup community before this company? Yeah, so I grew up on the East Coast and I started my first company in, um, in Boston. I grew up in DC, but uh, in Boston. And <clears throat> then I moved to Silicon Valley to kind of build that up. Um, but then uh, that sort of fizzled out as startups generally do. And, went back to the normal job thing and I uh, met Alex through his wife who was one of my employees and uh, I ran into Alex we went on a charity walk and we talked the entire time within a month I left my job joined him and we've been building ever since well uh, thank you congratulations and good luck